Welcome or uh, welcome back at uh, C-Square. In this uh, video clip we're going to talk about product and quotient rule of uh, differentiation and I'm going to start with the product rule and you notice here we have this formula which I'm going to prove it the derivative with respect of x of f of x times g of x so this is the product of two functions what is that um, derivative and now we're going to go and get this formula then i'm going to use the limit definition which said limit when delta x approach to zero of f of x plus delta x times g of x plus delta x minus f of x times g of x over delta x so this is the definition of the derivative using this limit and the thing i'm going to do here what i'm going to do now is to subtract and add the same quantity here where the numerator is so i'm going to have f of x plus delta x times g of x plus delta x and now i'm going to subtract Uh, the cap the quantity f of x plus delta x times g of x and i'm going to add the same quantity and then don't forget the last term of this difference quotient which was minus minus f of x times g of x okay and now let's see what else we can do here uh, we will rearrange the limit in this form and we have limit when delta x approach to zero of f of x plus delta x times the following quotient g of x plus delta x minus g of x over delta x plus g of x times the quotient f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x so that is the arrangement i did it from the second step and now i'm going to use the property of limits and I'm going to break this limit in two parts. Limit when delta x approach to zero of f of x plus delta x times g of x plus delta x minus g of x over delta x that's the first limit plus limit when delta x approach to zero of the second part g of x times f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x And I can keep using the property of limits and I'm going to have this limit of a product will be product of limits. And if you notice, this guy here is nothing else than f of x when you when delta x go close to zero. Right. When this guy goes close to zero, I have just f of x. Now, this guy here is nothing else than g prime of x. 
And let's move to the second part plus now when delta x approach to zero obviously here we have just g of x and the last part this part uh, that is f prime of x so you notice now we finish with the right side of this formula let's move to the quotient rule and i'm going to use a similar approach to prove the quotient rule i'm going to use the limit definition so we have here the derivative with respect of x of f of x over g of x using the limit process will be limit when delta x approach to zero of f of x plus delta x over g of x plus delta x minus f of x over g of x and that's the numerator of this complex fraction the denominator will be delta x so i just use the limit definition now we can move to the next thing where i'm going to simplify the numerator and that will give me limit when delta x approach to zero of and now we're gonna have here g of x times f of x plus delta x minus f of x times g of x plus delta x that will be the numerator and everything else is going to go down on the net denominator i'm going to have the delta x which was there and the, then i'm going to have g of x and g of x plus delta x and from here i'm going to do something similar with uh, we, what we did for the product rule i'm going to subtract and add the same quantity let's see which one that is so i'm going to have g of x times f of x plus delta x and now i'm going to subtract here f of x g of x obviously i have to add the same quantity And let's not forget the last part, minus f of x times g of x plus delta x over delta x. Times g of x times g of x plus delta x. And now I'm going to rearrange my numerator and I'm going to uh, distribute the delta x. So I'm going to get here limit one delta x approach to zero. And the first thing is going to be g of x. times f of x plus delta x minus f of x and I factor out the g of x here that was the first thing I did over delta x so that is a, another thing that you need to be aware of and then we have minus Um, f of x uh, now we're going to factor out an f of x on the second part times the g of x plus delta x minus g of x over delta x over 
g of x times g of x plus delta x and i can keep doing this process here of limits using the property of limits but let's take a look when delta x approach to zero the denominator becomes g of x and the second part is nothing else than the derivative of f so f prime of x minus let's move to the second part similar we have f of x times g prime of x when delta x approach to zero and the denominator becomes g of x times g of x so finally you notice this denominator is going to be g of x squared and, and that's it so we have g prime of x in fact g of x sorry g of x f prime of x minus f of x g prime of x over g of x square and that's the formula and we prove it here you can use this formula to do the derivative of tangent and cotangent for example the derivative of tangent of x how can we do that we're going to rewrite the tangent as sine of x over cosine of x and you can use the uh, quotient rule and get the formula the same for the cosine and you're going to have this formula here the, the derivative of tangent is secant squared the derivative of cotangent negative cosecant squared the derivative of secant which is one over cosine it's secant times tangent and the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant times the cotangent all this can be proved using the quotient rule and the last part of the clip is about uh, higher order derivatives you may hear second derivative there you go this is the second derivative which is the derivative of the first derivative and this is the notation you also may hear what we call third derivative right here and you see the notation once you go and talk about fourth fifth sixth derivative that's the notation okay not prime here just f parenthesis four and the fourth derivative is the derivative of the third derivative and you may hear nth derivative and you see the notation f parenthesis n x and these are alternate different form of having the same uh, topic and derivative if you enjoy this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help thank you